I think the hardest part of starting making this video is introducing myself and like why I'm doing this but hey my name is Sarah um, some of you may know me as Namwa which is my real Thai nickname the thing is that I have cancer and my life has changed ever since so the point of making this video is to document my life um, the reason why I want to document it because I am such a forgetful person and I feel like someday I might forget the nuance of the feeling of how I really feel so a little bit about my background I am from Thailand I was born and grew up there and um, I played golf since I was a really young girl so I had this opportunity to go to the United States to play college golf and I'm lucky to get to play in the division one level I feel like I was just a young girl and then suddenly I had to become adult right after I graduate high school and then like college life happened I don't really get to have that like normal teenage life at all I just start my adult life really quickly people may think that I have this beautiful fun like lucky life because I get to study abroad get the full ride scholarship of course I like basically just study and play golf for free and that's great right I also get to like travel a lot with my teams and I get to do all the fun things I also like traveled a lot and the last summer before my senior year I also got to intern with a local art museum and that's pretty gorgeous right life seems perfect but not many people know that my heart and mind wasn't in a great place at all during my college years and it was kind of normal for student athlete to have a mental health problem so I didn't like Pay attention to it that much I feel like everyone just kind of go through their own things I have always had this passive death wish where like I don't want to fight I don't really want to live but it's not that bad that it became suicidal so I just kind of like push it under the rock and don't really pay attention to it but anyway my life wasn't all that bad I mean I still like it and at the end of 2019, I flew back to Thailand, spent the greatest winter break with my friends and family. So I started to piece myself back together, ready to tackle my senior year. I was determined to make it great, make it memorable. I started off my first tournament of the last season ever quite well I played great actually some of the highlight was I got an eagle and my um, average score was quite low but one of the girl who I played with she told me that like she saw all these random bruises all over my legs and it seems quite scary because Golf is not a sport that you like fall or you tackle anyone, you just walk and hit the ball. So it was kind of like this weird bruises that shouldn't appear on my legs. But I didn't think it was anything so I didn't like talk to anyone about it. So after finishing that tournament in Florida, the team and I flew back and I just continued doing the normal stuff like turn the laundry in, go to class go to work out and prepare for the next tournament the second tournament was also in Florida so I came back to Florida for the second tournament little that I know that it would be the last round of golf ever in my life I had a really bad headache I 
couldn't really function in the golf course so I took a lot of ibuprofen which I did not know it wasn't good for my body at all because it depletes all my platelets and that makes my bruises even worse but it helps with the headache so I just continue like taking it and I pushed through and finished the tournament if you are familiar with student athlete culture the only thing you do is you push through and you you don't ever give up you grind you overcome your weakness and then you just move on you don't ever quit quitting is weakness but like at the end of the tournament I have like more random bruises all over my body not only on my legs but on my waist on my thighs on my arms and also like in my mouth as well that I noticed and it's it's starting to get really weird because whoever get bruises in their mouth like I've never seen anyone getting bruises in their mouth so I talked to my coach and she told me that I should go see a doctor ASAP after we get back to campus so we flew back my athletic trainer made an appointment with the doctor for me the doctor said it can be anything because usually bruises don't say much and he just sent me to the lab center so I go get my lab done get a CBC check I didn't think anything was wrong with my body because I literally have no symptom of anything just like slight fatigue and bruises and actually also night sweats which I don't know it is such a huge red flag for having cancer so later that day my athletic trainer called me and she said she would like to meet me at her office discussing about the lab report I was like it was wrong because usually like she she never called me to go meet her at her office so I just okay I just drove to her office and then like she basically just told me hey the doctor thing you have cancer we should go to the ER right away I was like what she said the doctor said it is leukemia which is the cancer of the white blood cell I know what it is but I was like really do I really have cancer because like I was 22 years old and I was healthy I was doing workout I was a student athlete I eat well and you know it's just weird to me but like it didn't sink in until like the third day after I was hospitalized that I really did have cancer the first thing that I think about was like is this the end of my life am I going to die for real now because I have always had this wish that I don't have to fight anymore and I can just die and suddenly like God just gave me this opportunity to just die over the past like two or three years um, the concept of my life has been like learning from my mistake but at that point I was trying to find something to learn out of but I feel like it is so empty I could not learn anything from that experience at all because the only thing I can do is sitting in the hospital room and like let the nurse and doctors come in and do their job it was all empty the only thing i can do is survive is just bare minimum which makes myself feel super meaningless fast forward a year after i has already done bone marrow transplant twice and as of now i am in remission which means um there is no more cancer cell in my blood anymore so which is good but there are so many things I regret in my life I feel like I haven't really lived my life the way I want I haven't found a good love 
I haven't swum with a sea turtle. I am not young, wild, and free anymore. I have so many limitations in my life now. And I feel like after this, no one ever gonna love me anymore because I am a broken vase and no matter how well I try to piece myself back together, I would never be the same person before I was diagnosed. I am very jealous of seeing people living their life after the pandemic because I feel like they fall and they like rise back up but I really can't do that I'm pretty sure I learned something from it I made a lot of friends throughout this whole stupid cancer journey I don't really want to call it journey because it's not something I want to experience but everyone kind of use it so it's I think it's okay but as I told you before like I am now in remission but the fight against this health issue is still not over I still have to go back to the hospital and get my lab done like several times a week I still have a bunch of medication to take and I still have the side effects from the transplant that I have to deal with it's not the end yet but anyway go get your CBC check go to the hospital every six months at least keep yourself healthy and in shape and I hope someday I will find peace and a nice recovery for me and after that I can finally like live my life again thank you so much for listening to me ranting about my pathetic life I hope it's not too depressing and I hope you learn something even though I can't really like summarize or do anything for you giving up some time is really not a choice alright I'm gonna peace out and let's see what is next in my pathetic life bye